Today is my birthday, and we're doing a special birthday episode with predictions. This video is going to be a little shorter, but for the final <laughs> week of the regular season, we're going to be predicting every week 17 game. And so far, we're going to do playoff predictions as well. Like you, you think instead of power rankings, you'll do who's going to win Super Bowl. So let's His get the move on. His birthday! This kid's 14! We're so proud yeah, of this so, guy! Oh, happy birthday, Benny! Mwah. So, okay, yeah, my birthday <laughs> right. So, we're going to move on to the predictions. So, Alright, so this is the first week. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah, so this is... Alright, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so this week, week 17, is a lot of playoff clinching scenarios that could happen. Yeah. A lot of bouncing balls, teams moving we'll around, see what coming happens, in, going out. You'll listen to our predictions, and we'll see how correct we are. So first, and, and the only week of the year that every team plays on Sunday. It's gonna be exciting. Gotta love it. Okay. Week seventeen, so the first final week. game we have. Oh, okay, the Jets win again. Now the Jets are good all of a sudden. I don't get it. Like say, so oh, and thirteen, and then two and zero. Oh. How are the Jets good all of a sudden? And a perfect way to end and 2020. After, and after winning a 45 nothing game, the Patriots go 0-4 and, and the Chargers go 4-0. I don't get it. And the Patriots are lucky enough to end their season play, facing the 2-0 and Jets. <laughs> the, the Jets that have won two in a row. Two and because it's 2020, even though this game takes place in 2021. The 2020 season. It's 2020 season, and I'm guessing that the Pats are going to lose this game 33 wow. to nothing. What? The opposite of the Monday night game from what? last year. <laughs> I have a little bit of less of a blowout, but are you going to wait down? Yeah. I have the Patriots losing. Uh, 28 to 6. Now, don't get me wrong. We'll be rooting for the Patriots big and, time. I never thought I would predict the Jets all But yet. the reality is the reality. We're yeah. on to 2021, as Bill Belichick would say. We're on to Cincinnati. All right. Next game, we have another game that will be on TV. At least Patriots on TV. We have the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Basically, if the football team loses to the Eagles, then this will be for the division. The Giants can make it 6-10, and 10, though. I don't see that happening. I have the Cowboys winning this one 30-17. I like the Cowboys here, too. And I'm going to go 24-17. to 17. Okay. And I do think, and the kind of cool thing about this game is whoever wins this game, and if the Washington football team loses their game at 8 o'clock, they will be the division winner. So there's a scenario where the Giants could be the division winners of at the NFC ten. least at 6 and 10. I know. Crazy! Yeah. What did you put? 24 17. Next, right. we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which. Blew out the Lions. Killed no one them. saw that coming. Wow. I'm blowing you out. Did wait. Let's see. Did I see it coming? Uh, no, it was like a close game. You had it really close. No, I had it. I had it close. I had it th- you had it more of a blowout. Forty-five to twenty. Yeah. I had thirty-six twenty-two. Right, this kid knows this stuff. Yeah. So we have the Falcons playing the Bucks in this one, and the Bucks are in the playoffs. Yeah, the Bucks. But they're playing for seed. Yeah, the Bucks, space maybe I should have west everyone, but I'm going to go. That's one of the tricky things about Week 17. A lot of teams may rest guys I only that go could with the alter, te- you know, the outcome. I'm only going to go with the teams I know are resting guys, so I don't know that the Bucks are resting guys. I'm going to say they start. The Falcons did almost beat the Chiefs last yeah, year. Yeah, they did, didn't they? But, yeah, I think... You I were think, rooting for the Falcons. I think Bucks are going to win it 20-14. to 14. I think that's a solid prediction, and I'm right there with you. Uh, I'm gonna go Bucks victory twenty one to twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next we have an NFC North matchup. We have the Detroit Lions, which oh, got blown up by the Bucks. We already went over that game, taking on the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings could have made the playoffs, but they blew it obviously like they always do. So let's take a look at this game. The Vikings, I don't really see how much they could try for this. I'm gonna go with a, a little Upset here. Yes, I'm gonna go Lions. Not much of an upset, but okay. I think thirteen Lions. three. Thirteen three Lions over the Vikings. Yeah, I, mean, I the think Vikings that's fair. Yeah. Up. 
All right, so you know what I'm going to do? And it's going to be much to Benny's chagrin. Ten to ten. Tie! Uh, <laughs> he hates it when I predict ties. Sorry, pal. It's 2020. we got to end on a, on a weird note. Okay. All right, Next. so this should be a good game. We, we have... think. We don't know if they're resting guys or what. Oh, but... why did the Steelers have to win last week? Like, seriously. We could have mm. had a really good game this week. And the Colts. I was rooting for the Colts. But we have the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Cleveland Browns, guys. And the Cleveland <laughs> Browns. They have to win this one. They just lost to the Jets, so I don't know. I would say Steelers would win this Browns one. Browns haven't been looking too good, but hopefully they can power up for this one. But Steelers but might bench- rest. But they're benching losses, but it probably means they're going to bench a lot more players. They might. So I'm going to put the Browns in this one just because they're benching and resting everyone. All Browns. Right, what do you got? I think Browns 31, Steelers 28. All right. I'm feeling that. I'm thinking that some guys are going to get some rest in this game. And I'm going to go Browns here as well, 17 to 14. Okay. Next, we have the other Hoping NFC. Hoping the Browns can turn it around. North matchup. We have the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Who beat surprisingly the, beat the, the, Texans. Beat the Texans last week. And the Steelers the week before. Yeah, okay. they're on a roll. I wish the Bengals would win this one, but I'm going Ravens. I think the Bengals could give up a good fight. Ravens are starting Ravens, to look hot at the 27, right time. Bengals 24. I'm thinking uh, Ravens here. I think the Lamar is starting to look much better. I'm going Ravens 35, Bengals 18. Hmm. Wait, we Next, we yeah, have a we'll final. We have a final. This could be match. good, depending on who's resting and who's playing. Mm-hmm. But we got the Bills. Bills, why were they resting? 12 and 3. They just killed the Patriots. They decimated them. Yeah. It wasn't even funny. So badly that the announcers the whole game were talking about how sad the Patriots are and how much they've fallen from grace. Come it just on, stinks. Now, so just stop it, okay? I know. So the ten and five Dolphins plan yeah. to get into the playoffs. It's looking like they'll get in. Yeah, but actually, it's, it's not they, a lock. Is it a lock? No, no it's, it's not. It's not a lock. Any of the teams, if they lose, pretty much the Colts lose it out. If the Browns mm. lose, and all the three the Colts teams win the one of the three teams are going to lose, and I think it's going to be the Dolphins, unfortunately. Ah, they're they playing the Bills. The Bills, yeah. the Bills are good. Poor yeah. Dolphins missed out. I was rooting for you guys, but I guess this is not going to be a year. Mm. Dolphins. Not everyone's going to make it. Dolphins 35, Bills 38. Wow, sounds like a good one. It's going to be a really good one. All right, I'm expecting a good game here, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to mm-hmm. say I think the Bills are going to squeak this one out as well. And I'm going to say Bills 28, Dolphins 24. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Bills. Now we go to the 4 o'clock games. We have a 4 o'clock game. We have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Indianapolis Colts. There's no way the Colts are going to lose. They're fighting to play and get in the playoffs. But wait, last time these guys played the Jaguars, the Jaguars only have one win this season. It's against the Colts. The Colts aren't going to lose, however. Colts 31, Jaguars 3. They're just going to keep blowing it. Colts 31, Jaguars 3? Yeah, though the Jaguars could try to win if they want, but I think they'll just rest everyone for next year. I think, uh, yeah, I think the Jags are locked in at the number one pick, so they really got, you know, they could just go all out and play like crazy. I mean, you never yeah. know. But I don't see the Colts losing see. against the Jags. Jags are now the new Jets of the NFL. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go Colts uh, 20. To 14. Next, we have the Houston Texans playing the Titans. I must win for the Titans because the Titans could still get out of the playoffs. Wow, I know. And they're going to win this one, though, because the Titans are going to beat the Texans. I think this could be a high-scoring game. I think Titans 42, Texans 40. Ooh, it's going to be a shootout, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see it. Shootout. I'd love to see it. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go contrarian on this one. I'm gonna go Texans. I'm I'm thinking they're gonna come out balling. They're gonna want to prove some people, mm. you know, mm. show people that they don't mess around and that they're gonna be serious for next year. And they JJ Watt was Bengals. on the news getting everyone fired up. They just lost to the Bengals. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a silly call, but you know what? I'm just gonna go with they it. They just lost the Bengals without. I'm going. Let's show I'm list. going. Bengals. Oh. All right, I'm going Texans 28, Titans 21. Next, we have another matchup. 
the Oakland Raiders, the sad Oakland Raiders. The Oakland Raiders two. that are now in Las Vegas. Yeah, the Las Vegas Raiders, <laughs> which have lost two in a row, taking on the Broncos, which just lost to the Chargers. I think this game's pretty simple. Raiders have looked horrible the last few weeks. I think they're going to end it off on a bang. I think Broncos, 32, Raiders, 14. That's All right. I think, uh, yeah, I hear you there. You know, I think Ra- Raiders have something to prove. They they looked really good at the beginning of the season, then they kind of stink now. But I think they have something to prove, and I think they're going to come out to play just to not have a losing record in 2020. So I think they're playing for that 8-8 eight eight spot, final record, and the Broncos are done. I'm, I'm seeing the Raiders are going to take this one 25-23. to 23. Resting all their players into our next week. It's the Kansas City Chiefs taking on a team which lost to the Patriots 45 nothing and won four in a row, probably five, because the Chiefs are resting all their players. Chiefs thought you could go 15-1. I'm putting you at 14-2. and two I'm with you. I'm with you. I think Herbert's going to have a game of his lifetime. Yeah. Chad Hemmington could throw, like, four interceptions. I don't know. More than Mahomes all year in that mm. one game. Chargers, 28. Chiefs, I still have scoring 17 points. I'm with you on the Chargers. I'm going to go Chargers 42 and Chiefs 28. Okay. I'm thinking Herbert comes out, has a good game. Again, they have something to prove. And they've won four in a row. And uh, and they have something to prove. They, they're going to be a team to contend with for years to come. Okay. All right. On our next matchup, we have the Seahawks taking on the... 49ers, and what I heard is Josh Rosen is going to be starting. The Niners just beat the Cardinals really? last week. Is he? I think so. Wow. I don't know if it's accurate news or not. Don't take me 100%, but I'm pretty sure he is. Interesting. So I think this could be a good game. I think the Seahawks are going to struggle. I But uh, at the end, I would hope I would be rooting for the Niners in this one. But actually, at the same time, I kind of want to root for the Seahawks because... Because like, they kind of need a win because of the same situation. So, I'm going to go Seattle. 31, Niners, 26. I think this is going to be a close one. Oh, cool score. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I see the Seahawks uh, winning this. You know, you never know with the 49ers. They're the team that surprises everyone. But I'm going Seahawks here, and I'm going um, 27 to 24. Blowing out our way into the next game. We have the Saints taking on the Panthers. I think this game's going to pretty much be a blowout. Chop, chop, Saints. Chop, 42, chop. Panthers, 10. Nice. I love it. I'd love to see it. I'm Maybe with you. 49, 10. But I'm, going, 42, I'm going 10. 39. Weird score again. To 17. Okay. Saints win. Alright, another matchup we have. This game could mean a lot. I'm nervous for this game. Uh, I'm, we're going to be Bears fans for this one. Because, uh, no! Yes. He might be, but not me. Because I need the, need the Packers to lose for the Saints to have a chance for the first round by Packers are westing everyone into our next week. Packers westing everyone. We have the Packers and the are Bears. Are they resting Aaron Rodgers? I'm pretty sure they are. Oh, that's a, that's another story then. Then the Bears could win. I think, yeah, I think the Bears are going to win. Mm. But I think that Packers are going to give up a fight. Hmm. They only want Westing Rodgers, though. Hmm. I think it could be like a 31 28 game. Who's winning? Bang! 31 28? <laughs> Alright. I don't, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know because the Packers resting everyone is a factor. Yeah, to You obviously. can't go because you hate the Bears. You and I obviously hate the Bears. Um, so I'm going to do the only thing a guy like me can do in this situation. I'm going to predict a 17 to 17 tie. <laughs> Two ties in one week. <laughs> well, and it will probably serve them both well if they tied. Yeah, but then yeah. the Packers. <laughs> the Packers would still get the one seat at 12, 3, and 1. That would be all right. That would be kind of cool. Yep, the Saints. Tie City. Oh, the All right, pick. there's one game left. The eight o'clock game moved to prime time. Oh Who would have ever guessed that NFC East game is the Why team is the that? final game of the year? But it is. Let's say Smiths out. Eagles are gonna win this one. I don't know why they did this game, but they are Eagles. 
I, it's going to be the boy. It's Eagles game, Washington football yeah, team. Yeah, Eagles 19, football team 7. Wow, so you don't think Washington football team can do it? No. You don't think they're going to go to the playoffs? I think they need Alex. So who's going to the playoffs? The Cowboys? Cowboys. Wow. Kappa is all the I way. think it's going to get close, and I think Washington football team's defense is going to come through. Chase Young is solid. Their defense mm-hmm. is great. Uh, I, someone on TV said if they have competent football uh, quarterback play, they can win the game. It doesn't even have to be great quarterback play. Their defense can win them the game. The Eagles' offense is a mess. Um, although Jalen Hurts, is, but he's a rookie, can make mistakes. I'm going Washington football <laughs> team here, and I don't think it's going to be an easy win, but I think they're going to win at 19 to 17 and it's going to okay. come right down to the end and Washington football team huh. formerly known as the you know what's are going to the playoffs okay all right so okay. I'd like to ask a question now yeah, that covers so, all the games yeah so we're going to do a few questions first MVP who's going to win the NFL MVP folks I yeah. see this is the way we see it Mahomes There's Mah- these are the contenders Mahomes and Rodgers are kind of like the top two Mahomes, Rodgers, Allen there's also a very solid case to be made for Josh Allen and you could even make a case for Dalvin Cook. Alan and Kamara. you could even make a case for um, Devontae Adams in Green Bay. And you could even make a case for Alvin Kamara. You could make a case for Alvin Kamara. 16. And you could make another case for Russell Wilson. Probably not, though. Okay, Russell Wilson. But all right, we're getting carried Let's away. Let's narrow it down to three. And there's always Gardner Minshew. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, he was benched after the All so. right, as much as it pains me... I think it's going to be Mahomes. Yeah. I think Rodgers should win it. Mahomes. Um, what I'm hoping here is that Mahomes wins the MVP and Rodgers wins the Super Bowl. If the Saints don't win the Super Bowl. Saints all the way. We're going Saints. But if the Saints can't win it and the Buccaneers can't win it, I'm going... Patriots. Packers. Or Bills. <laughs> Bills, I think. And not the Chiefs. Okay, so, so yeah, I put... So we're going... But we're both... Mahomes is my call. What's your call? Mahomes. Mahomes and Mahomes. So next we're going to be doing all the positions. Who do you think is going to be Offensive Player of the Year? I'm going to put down Alvin Kamara. Oh, nice one. It's like the best non Who do you have? I'm going to go Dalvin Cook. Okay. Next we have our Defensive Player of the Year. And Stefan Gilmore didn't really play that good. J.C. Jackson. I wish. That's um, who I'm going with. Oh. Mr. Interception himself. I'm going to go with Miles Garrett. But yeah. What about Chase Young, the rookie? Yeah. He's Defensive win. rookie of the year. Yeah, he's going to... So, is he going to win rookie of the year, or is Herbert going to win rookie of the year? Okay, so rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. I'm going Justin Herbert. Will it use it? Yeah, I'm going Justin Herbert. Now too. let's do defensive rookie of the Chase year. Chase Young. Yeah, and offensive rookie of the year, Herbert. Yeah. Okay, so next, let's move on, I think. Oh, comeback player of the year. Comeback. Oh, you got to Big go. Ben. Big Ben, well, he was injured, yeah. Gotta yeah. go with Big, Big Ben, because yeah. he came back and led the team to 11 up. Big Ben, yeah, else? good call. Don't Who say else? Cam Newton. Definitely not Cam Newton. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, who else? He ruined our team. Coco, can I say Coco? Okay. Coco is comeback player of the year. Okay, so now who do you think... <laughs> no, comeback player of the year, for real. Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Definitely not Michael Thomas. <laughs> um, all right. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right on Big Ben. Okay. All right. Next. Next, we have... What do you think is going to be the trash team next season? Ooh, who the heck knows? Uh, could be anyone. Oh, the Jets. The Jets are looking better. Jets are already looking better fast. Um, I guess I'm going to go to the Lions. I was thinking the same thing. I mean, I want to say Jags, but if they get Trevor Lawrence and, you know, yeah. he lights a fire under their ass, you know, that'd be cool. I think something bad is going to happen. And maybe Houston or... I th- actually, no, I know who the worst team's going to be next I hope year. bad stops. We had enough bad in 2020. I hope 2020 is all think, good. I think the Giants. Sorry, Giants, sorry, yeah, I hear that. that. Well, they, they'll they have Saquon back. Oh, yeah, maybe not so the who Giants. Knows? Who knows? Yeah. I think the first pick will go to... Lions. I'll go with the Lions. Okay. All right. I'm going to the Lions. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl of this season? Oh, it's such a tough call. I think the Chiefs are going to win, but I don't want to pick them because it's the obvious, easy choice. Okay. You so pick the I'm going to pick the Buccaneers. Woo! Uh, well, I'm actually going to be uh, 
Although I want the Saints to win. But I'm going to pick the Buccaneers. I'm actually going to be smart and say Chiefs. But I'd love to pick the Bills. That's who I really want to pick. Yeah, same. I'd love to pick the Bills. Okay, next. Who do you think is going to be, like, like, this year, a big surprising team, which did really good, was was the... The New England Patriots! No. Was was the Steelers. Last year was the Niners. Yeah. So no. who do you think, or Cardinals? Who's going to make a guest appearance? Come on. So who do you think is going to be the surprise team this year? <gasps> oh, he dissed us. <laughs> so who do you think is going to be the surprise team next year? The surprise team next year? I think... I the, think it's going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars led by Trevor Lawrence. I think they'll take a few years. I think, and you'll understand, I think Trubisky is looking really good. I think they're going to have a good season next year. I could see them going like... 11 and 5 or 12 and 4 and making Who do you it think? to the AFC Championship. I think the, the Bills, Bills! The Buffalo Bills! The Bills had a good season this past year. The Buffalo Bills! They're going to win this year and next year and every year for the rest of the years. That would be good. Buffalo Bills! Buffalo Bye, Bills! Buff, Buffalo, yeah. Buffalo, hey, Buffalo, Buffalo Bills! Hey, Bungalow, Buffalo yeah. Bill. <laughs> Who did you kill? Me! <laughs> a couple of guys. Yes, so let's All go. Right. Any other right. NFL news? Who do you think is going to... NBA started. Shout out to the 1986 Boston Celtics. It's hanging behind us. Okay, so who do you think is going to win the... Who do you think is going to play the Chiefs in the Super Bowl? Uh, I'm going to go Saints. I'm gonna... Even though I just... It goes against everything I just picked. I'm going, who that's dat, the free form dat, beauty of this. Who dat, who dat, Saints. Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? Now let's go with Bobo. What Actually, I don't know. Oh, no, no, Pro Bowl stinks. Okay, yeah. So, uh, all right, what else? Who, so, that's it. This is it. Oh, we're going to have these videos for the playoffs. Don't you worry. We're oh, not going wait, anywhere. Wait, 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 wait. We need to do the top five power rankings. So let's do all that. All right. Chiefs, so much for Chiefs, having a shortened Chiefs, video. Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs. Bills, team, Bills, Jets, Bills, Jets. Bills, Bills, Bills. Chiefs, Bills, Packers, Saints, Seahawks. I'm going Bills just because I want to, even though it's probably Steelers. Chiefs. But Chiefs, Bills, Chiefs, Packers, Buccaneers. Buccaneers! And... Buccaneers! Uh, uh, how much does it cost to have a, to, for a pirate to get his ear, ears passed? Why? A Buccaneer. Okay, so next. <laughs> we're going to do the top three worst teams. That guy on the Blitz video says Jets, Jets, Jets. <laughs> Now let's do Jags, Texans. Well, the Jets are actually not going to make it. Jags, Jets. Jags, Jags. I think Jags. On their way to getting Trevor Texans, Lawrence. Jets. The Jets are always going to be in the bottom three. But they're in third. So, yeah, that's good. This is it for the video today. A special birthday episode. Bye, guys. Woo! Leave a like. I want this, wonderful. This, 20, this. All right, so 2020 this. sucked, but. We had a great football season, and I loved watching every game with this guy. It was perfect, and we're gonna we're looking forward to some playoffs. We got the whole season in. They did it, even with COVID. And we're on to new year. Next time you see us, it's going to be 2021. We're going to be starting a new year, and we're going to be kicking some you-know-what. Okay. Things are going up, and we're going to do good, and we're excited for the playoffs. And the Jets are done. And the Pats aren't in it. Ah! But we'll we'll manage. We'll get by. We'll find a way. We'll cope through it. <laughs> we'll find a way. All right, everyone. Bye. Bye.